if you are the rare species of 3D VTuber with your own Unity app, I've got something for you. Today I'll be showing you how to connect your Twitch redeems to your Unity app so that you can trigger things to happen in your app, such as head pats or something like making your head explode. <laughs> For this project, I'm using 2020.1.6. This is the only one I've tested where it's really worked. So I recommend just going ahead and getting the proper thing for that. You can download that from the Unity page. I will put a link in the description. Go to download archive. Go to 2020. Scroll, 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 2020.1.6, here it is. If you have Windows, download for Windows. If you don't have Unity Hub, you can download the most recent Unity Hub, not this one, the most recent one. 3D project, I'm just going to call this tutorial again. You can call it VTuber app, VTuber, whatever you want, name it whatever you want, whatever your heart desires, and let that happen. It's going to load up. Awesome, pop awesome. Drag in the package that I put together into here, and that package includes Twitch Lib. So, here, this will be on my booth. You can donate if you want, you don't have to. And let that import. So, after you've got your package in your Unity project, take this here, it says for redeem tutorial package, and drag it into the hierarchy. And you don't, we don't need this untitled scene anymore, so you can right click, remove scene. The thing we're using, which is Twitchlib, it requires you to link up a few things to your account. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. The things we need for Twitchlib, it's in this Twitch integration file secrets. You need to have your own personal secrets, and this is how Unity will be able to talk to Twitch and Twitch will be able to tell Unity when someone has redeemed something. You're going to need all of these things and I'm going to show you how to get those things. So the first thing you need to do is um, get authentication token for your personal Twitch streaming account. You need to go to devtwitch.tv which is for developers. You need to log in with Twitch. It's going to ask you to authorize your account. Click authorize, go to your console. Here it has something called applications. And then here, register your application. Okay. And then here you need to um, put your the name of your application. I just called mine VTube app. You can call it whatever you want. Here on the OAuth redirect, um, when testing locally, you can set this to HTTP localhost. I don't know the science, quote unquote, behind it, but because we're running the app from our own computer, localhost will be okay. So you click add there. Uh, I'm not a robot, select the category, create, and ta -da! we have registered an application. So because this is a tutorial, I'm showing you this, but you should not share this information with anyone because they will be able to do stuff on your stream and you don't want that. So next step, we go to manage and this is where you'll get your client ID. So client ID, you're going to copy that and paste it here. After that, you're going to need to make a bot. You need to make another Twitch account. Also make sure to mod this new channel you made. So log into your other Twitch account that you just made. And then go to this link here. You want a bot, so you're going to click bot. This is just an example. I'm just going to use my actual account. Prove you're not, prove you're human. Tractor, 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 tractor. Make sure you're using a new account you created specifically to act as a bot in your channel, not your actual channel. And here, make sure this is important. You click yes for all of these. Just to make sure in the future, if you want to do anything, on your account that it will be able to do so. 
because if you don't click yes, it won't be able to do things such as um, edit follows or view whispers, send whispers. So this just lets you do anything you want. Or if you want to trigger things with bits in the future, it's important that that's checked as yes. Scroll all the way down and generate token. And then authorize, prove you're not a robot. You have to go through the captcha twice. Enable scopes, click generate token, and then copy the token information. And then find the final thing you need to do. We're almost done here. Download this extension, click on the extension, type in your user, your username, enter, and then copy and paste the ID it generates into here. Yay, so we're done with the secrets, thank goodness. Next thing I want to do is import your avatar into this project if you have not done so already. If you have a VTuber app already set up, you should know how to do this. Otherwise, check out Fofamit's tutorial, which is really good. I will put a link in where you can get this package in the description. I am using version 3 slash under uh, version 3 underscore 7. So download that one and same thing as before, drag it into your project down there. Once you've dragged it into your project, just click import and let that import. And then you should have a window pop up after it's finished importing. Close that window. So right click, make a new folder for my models to keep everything nice and tidy. I'm gonna just drag my model into here and let it load. And now I'm going to take my model and drag it into the hierarchy, hover over this avatar scale lock object and let go of my mouse. And it's going to appear under here. The avatar scale lock object lets you change the size. I'm clicking R here. It lets you change the size of the avatar as well as I'm clicking E here. Rotate it around. Whoops. Uh, without um, it uh, moving around when you activate VC face. Otherwise, it might shift position. If you open up the drop-down menu for avatar scale lock, you'll see that there's head pat gif already set up properly. As long as you have the redeems named exactly the same as I've named them, it should work. So let's click play. It needs to be in play mode for everything to get set up. Once you've built the game, you won't have a problem, but testing it, you do have to click play. As long as you have everything named the exact same way I do. So here it's called head pat. We click on that, ta-da, the head pat gif activates. Here on the head pat, for those of you who know how to code, uh, you can trigger how long you want this to be set for. So now it was set at four before, but let's set it as something longer, like 20. If we hit that, it's going to be longer. Next thing we have to do is just align the head pat. So click on these arrows here to move it. And if we just drag it roughly around where the head is, it should uh be pretty much correct so now if we click on play trigger your head pat redeem it's going to head pat yay so that's very simple how to set the head pat redeem so to get your avatar to move according to how you're in vc face you want to drag the external receiver into the scene here drag the external receiver out of that scene and remove the external receiver scene which we don't need click don't save and now it's here in the scene with everything else you don't want to show your port number here where it says model you're going to do drag the model not the avatar skill lock the actual model in the hierarchy here all right so now it should be connected to vc face when i move um the head pet stays in the same position and it's not following my head so we fix that we need to drag the head pat under the head so it's following the head in unity so um click drop down menu click root hips spine chest upper chest neck head 
and take this head pack gif object and drag it hover overhead and drop it in there Ta-da! now it's with everything else deem head pat when i move my head around Ta-da! head pat follows perfect next i'm going to show you how to set up the mr balloon head redeem i'll also show you how to change the names of these redeems if you want to do so click on the head object you need to add a component here search for balloon head i have a script i wrote for that the interpolation frames count is how long it takes for your head to expand expand size is how big it will get shrunk size ignore that it's nothing i might add that in the future i'm still working on it though Active time is how long your head will stay the big size. Uh, right now it's set to 60 seconds or a minute. You can change that accordingly. Click on the Twitch integration game object. You'll see that I have something happening with the head pad already. So when head pad is called, the head pad GIF activates. When balloon head is called, we want the balloon head script to activate. So what we're going to do is click on the head game object, hold it and drag it here into this spot where it has the drop down menu here and says no function. Click that, scroll down to balloon head and find the expand head function. All right, so that's how you set up the balloon head and head pad. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the names of these things so that um, you can name your redeems whatever you want. Click on this drop down, click into Twitch Pub Sub. And if you scroll down, you'll see here is where we are naming the redeems. So if you want the head pet redeem to be something different, just name it whatever you decide to call it. And it's case sensitive, so be careful. You can also change the name of Mr. Balloon Head here. You'll notice if I play this, in the game view, I'm kind of in the corner there. What you can actually do is change the camera. So you see if I change where the camera is, all of a sudden you can see me. The blue in the background is for chroma keying. Any changes you make during game mode will not be saved. You can either drag the main camera to where you want it to be. Another thing you can do, position yourself where you want your camera to be. I like to leave some room for the balloon head redeem at the top there. And then click control shift F, and it will move your camera to where you are in the scene. Now when I click play in the game view you will see that I am um, in the center of the screen now. Much better place. Yay! So to build your app, what do you do? You go to build setting, file build settings, add open scenes. This tells Unity which scenes you want to build. Then just click build and run. Hooray. All right. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions, but remember, do your research first. I might not be able to answer some questions. Please check out my Twitch. I will keep working on cool dev stuff like this. I also just play games sometimes recently. It's just more chill vibes. But anyway, yeah, come drop by and say hi. Thanks for watching. Also, I have an unlisted video if you're interested in looking more into the code where I break it down. Otherwise, bye.